Hello and midweek greetings from Radically Rational and RadicallyRational.com. We'll start with a question. Did Nancy Pelosi's trip to Taiwan accomplish anything? Yes, that is a rhetorical question because it accomplished nothing other than to heighten unnecessarily international tensions. Primary night last night in five states. It's concerning, at least to me, that so many election deniers won their nominations. One is more disgusting than the others. I'm talking about who looks to be the apparent GOP gubernatorial nominee in Arizona, Carrie Lake, who said in so many words before the election, if I win, it's legit, but if I lose, it was rigged. Now, I wonder where she learned that line. The federal grand jury subpoena to Mr. Cipollone, this is significant, and yes, Donnie, the walls are closing in, and Cipollone is not going to be able to invoke executive privilege because you can't do that to cover up criminal activity. Now, how about Kansas? Rock, chalk, women's rights. That's great, and did you see the margin? 59%, you can't get to 59% unless you have a significant number of Republicans and even Trump cultists. So we'll see if this extends to the November general election, but it's very interesting to say the least. Gee, we got yet another text wiping scandal, this time involving Trumpers who were in the Pentagon during his presidency. Gee, that's, is that three or four of these scandals now? And, one way or the other, it's just a gigantic coincidence, wouldn't you say? On the sports side, we begin by paying tribute to the remarkable Vin Scully, the poet laureate of baseball, and a man who combined art and science in live sports play-by-play -play broadcasting like nobody before or since, and he did it for the right reasons, to serve his audience. You think of him, you think of Dodger Blue, so you wonder what Vin would have said about the trade that brings Juan Soto to the Padres. Padre power right now? And yeah, they're going to be right on the tails of Mr. Scully's Dodgers. The Cowboy receiving core? Well, because of injury and inactivity during free agency, for right now, let's just call them CD and the Little Lambs. That is alarming. Miami Dolphins just can't stand prosperity. They just can't. They actually have assembled a really impressive team looking forward to the season, and then they get busted for this ridiculous tampering. And I say ridiculous because you weren't going to be able to cover that up. It was a matter of record. They thought like they have a death wish. Stephen Ross gets fined a million and a half dollars, and he gets a seven-week suspension, and they lose a first-round draft choice. They have two next year, but they lose one of them. Hmm. And yet still, Deshaun Watson, only six games, and the window for appeal is rapidly closing. Sometimes I just don't understand this sport at all. Have a great Wednesday. We're Radically Rational.